Hey guys, it's me, Dora44, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to shut down a hate raid just in case it happens to you. Hate raids are becoming more and more common now on Twitch, and it's hurting a lot of people. And it can be really scary if it happens to you and you don't know what to do in that situation. But don't worry, because I'm going to show you exactly step by step what I have set up just in case it happens. So if you like the video, leave a like down below. It'll also help this video get shown to more people who are trying to avoid hate raids. And if you like streamer help content, videos come out every week on my channel. So consider subscribing if you like that sort of thing. And if you have any more questions that I did not answer in this video, hop on by my stream. We talk about these sort of things and we play Genshin Impact, so we'd love to have you. Now this video is gonna be for people who have a stream deck, but wait, before you click off the video, so just in case you don't have a stream deck, don't worry, I'll show you exactly what you should do just in case one happens to you. But I also wanna mention, just in case you can't afford a stream deck, but you have an iPhone or an Android, Elgato has an app version of the stream deck that's actually really good. If you download it for the first time, you get a 30 day free trial. After that, it's about $3 a month or 25 for a year. And from what I've tested, literally zero latency. So it's pretty much the exact same thing just on your phone. But all right, let's jump over to my desktop and I'll show you exactly how I have everything set up. All right, so once you're in your Stream Deck application on your computer, we're gonna create a new button. These are mine right here that I have actually. This one right here, is what I click if I do get hate rated. It's a multi-action, meaning I can add multiple things to one button and it does all those things at once. So now I'm gonna show you step-by-step step quickly how to actually make that button. So you wanna have an empty button highlighted, go over to the right side where you see Stream Deck, and then you wanna click and drag the multi-action button. So you're gonna click that and drag right there. So this will allow you to have multiple steps happen in one button press. So next, what you want to do is go over to the right side again, click on the Twitch dropdown. And if you don't have the Twitch plugin, just go to the top right and click on the store. And then you're going to want to click on this one right here, the social Twitch by Elgato. So once you have that installed, first click on the clear chat. And we're going to drag that in there and then make sure down here you have your account successfully connected to each other. It'll have you log in and authorize Elgato to be connected to your account. So make sure it's for the right account. Next, we're going to drag over the sub chat which will then create the chat to only be subscriber only. And then make sure that this button right here is on activate and not deactivate. And then next emote only. And then again, make sure this says activate down here. And then lastly, create stream marker so that it creates that marker on your timeline in your VOD so you know when it happens. And then your last step is to have your alerts turn off in your OBS. So on the right side, click on the OBS Studio, or if you're using Streamlabs OBS, it'll be the same thing. It'll just be named Streamlabs OBS. And then you wanna click and drag the source button right here. Now make sure you have your OBS or your Streamlabs OBS opened while you configure this. Then you wanna pick the scene that you want this button to work with. So for example, we can just do just chatting so that just in case I get hate rated in my just chatting scene, this will work. And then we wanna pick the source. So my source is named alerts in my OBS. And then your last step is to, instead of having it activate it, you want to deactivate the scene, that it turns it off. Then your last step is within your OBS or your Streamlabs OBS, find your alert in whatever scene that we're working with. And then you wanna double click it so that it brings up the properties window. In your properties window, make sure that shut down source when not visible, this right here, is checkmarked. It looks the same in both programs, but you wanna make sure that shutdown source when not visible is checkmarked for this to actually work. And then repeat this process with your source for each of the scenes that you think you might get hate rated in. I would just do it for all of them just in case. But then yeah, with a press of a button, all these steps will happen in order, and then this will shut down a hate raid very easily for you. And then again, if you wanna add another button that does all the exact same things, but in reverse order, right click, copy that button that you made, paste it into another button, and then instead of activate, you wanna have all the buttons deactivate, except for your OBS ones, you wanna activate those. Now let me show you what you can do without a Stream Deck within your Stream Manager on Twitch. So on your Twitch profile, go to the top right, click on your picture, and then go down to Creator Dashboard. Now this page right here is where you can control your whole stream, your title, everything. I always have this window open while I'm streaming. 
And then you can see on the right side right here for your quick actions, we're going to add a couple of things so that just in case you get hate rated, you just have to activate these and then you're golden. But click on the plus sign right here and it's going to bring up this window and then it's pretty much the exact same thing. So first we want to add a clear chat history and then we want to do toggle emote only and then toggle sub only chat. And then we want to add a stream marker so that we know when it happened. So now if you get hate rated in your stream manager, just click on the clear chat, turn emote only on sub only, and then add a stream marker. This one only works when you're live though. And it's pretty much the exact same thing. The only thing that you won't be able to do through this method is turn off your alerts. But the way you'll do that is within your OBS or your Streamlabs OBS, just click on the source and then delete it. And then you can just re add it after your stream. And that's the video guys i hope you found it helpful these are some scary times right now for twitch streamers so just click that go live button and hope that you don't get hate rated but if you follow these steps that i showed you you should be fine nothing to really worry about if it happens to you but guys stay safe stay happy and i'll see you at the next video